Glutamine is one of the 20 amino acids that's used to make a protein within the human body. Now, just like every other amino acid, there's a center carbon, the central carbon, the chiral carbon, the stereocenter carbon, the carbon in the middle to which there's four different things attached. First off, there's a carboxylic acid where you've got a carbon that's double bound to an oxygen. There's another oxygen that's bound to a hydrogen. You've also got an amino group where you've got a nitrogen and three hydrogens. This nitrogen should only have three total attachments, not four. These three hydrogens and this carbon make it four. And so because there's an extra attachment, this nitrogen's carrying a plus one charge. And then there's also a hydrogen that's attached to this chiral center carbon. And then the thing that makes every amino acid unique is the R group or the other thing that's attached to this center carbon. Now at its lowest pH, glutamine is gonna be fully protonated. Everywhere you can have a hydrogen, there's gonna be a hydrogen added. The lowest pH means there's a whole lot of extra hydrogen in the system, so everywhere hydrogen can go, it will go on this molecule. But as you increase the pH, some of these hydrogens are gonna to have to leave this molecule and go into the environment to balance things out. The first hydrogen that's lost from this molecule is going to come from this carboxylic acid group, and this oxygen is gonna gain back its lone pair of electrons. This happens at a pH of about 2.2. And now this oxygen has a negative one charge because it's got this lone pair. This nitrogen is still carrying its plus one charge and nothing else has a charge on it. So because you've got a negative one and a plus one, those balance out to zero. But this molecule is not actually just neutrally charged. There's actual parts of the molecule that do carry a charge. So whenever you have a molecule where there are overall no charges, but there are individual charges in the molecule that balance each other out. This is called a zwitterion. And the zwitterionic form is the form that it's gonna look like until it goes to a pH of about 9.1. At 9.1, this hydrogen on this nitrogen, it's gonna be lost. That nitrogen's also gonna gain back its lone pair of electrons, and now it's going to be neutrally charged. So you've got a negative one here and a zero here. So overall, this molecule is gonna carry a negative one charge, and this is gonna happen above a pH of 9.1. In the human body, which has a pH of about 7.4, the molecule is still gonna have this extra hydrogen attached to this nitrogen, but the extra hydrogen that's on this oxygen is gonna be gone. So the zwitterionic form is the form that's gonna predominate in the human body at physiologic pH. Now let's talk about the R group. So the R group of glutamine is going to have an amide group, similar to asparagine, where you've got this carbon that is going to be attached to several different things. It's gonna be double bound to a oxygen. It's gonna be attached to a nitrogen that's attached to two other things, in this case, hydrogen. And then it's also going to be attached to something else. This oxygen is gonna make polar bonds with this carbon. This nitrogen is gonna make polar bonds both with these hydrogens and this carbon. And so because of all these places where polar bonds can be made, this is going to be considered a polar molecule or a polar R group. And as such, everywhere there's a polar bond, it can make hydrogen bonds with another molecule, including water, which means this is hydrophilic or likes water. So glutamine, is going to be a polar and hydrophilic amino acid. Glutamine is not an essential amino acid. You don't have to eat it from your diet in order for it to show up in proteins in your body. You can make glutamine specifically by converting it from glutamate, which is another amino acid. 